Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Jim Labuda, and today we're gonna to take a look at the face-on view of the golf swing of Sung J.M. Now, he had a pretty good weekend this week at the Players' Championship, ended up in a tie for sixth place after posting an even par round in his final round. Had a chance, started to make a run towards the end of the day, but a couple errand swings again at the end of the day derailed his chances of winning the Players' Championship. So, we all know Sung Im has got a very slow, very deliberate backswing, but he still hits the ball out there a country mile. Where does he get his distance from? How does he have that power with such a slow and deliberate backswing? Really like his setup position here, but we're gonna start going right into the backswing. So when he gets to this position here, we're gonna see if we keep an eye on his hands. They really start to roll open in the beginning here. He's got a little bit of a stronger grip, not overly strong at this point, but starts to roll those hands over. Face of the club doesn't get completely open, but the toe of the club's probably pointed up a little bit more here than what most players think. Now we get into position where the left arm gets parallel to the ground. You can see here, not a ton of lag in the swing. He's got some wrist hinge he's starting on here. A lot of players at this point, they make more of a 90 degree angle and they start really starting to hinge those wrists. But at this point, this is where Sung Jae-in really starts to develop his power. As he continues to turn, we're going to watch how now he turns his shoulders much more than 90 degrees. Okay, real strong turn, allows that head to turn to the right a little bit to be able to complete that huge shoulder turn. Now, this is the move I like. As he starts really driving down into that lead side, look at that weight transfer to the lead side as he starts shifting in. But now as we get the club to, again, where the left arm's parallel to the ground, let's look at the lag that he's creating in the swing here. So that lag, even though he's got a slow and deliberate backswing going back, he's able to increase that hinge in his wrist as he starts coming down in the downswing based on the weight transfer to the lead side. This is something a lot of amateur players struggle with. He's got a ton of power, a ton of lag coming into the swing here, into impact, and as you can see, he starts rolling those wrists open again. Awesome impact position. Love how the head here is positioned behind the ball at impact. Really, really love the way he's posting up on his lead leg here. Left leg, look at that. Straightening right up. Knee and hip are not going through what we would call a neutral joint position there. That left leg is really pushing into the ground, creating a lot of centripetal force, which again is helping to create the club speed. But now as he starts getting through impact, Again, we're gonna, we've talked a lot about extension and these full arms. Look at this arm extension all the way through. Both arms really, really straight. And that head stays down well after impact. So Sung J.M. and his power, again, he creates a ton of lag in his downswing by utilizing the weight transfer properly. Loads up his trail side, shifts into that lead side, increases the lag in the swing, and then unloads it all into the back of the ball.